Now for the latest on the South Korean election, let's cross live to our correspondent Eugene Jung in Seoul. Eugene, can you tell us the latest on the voting? Are there any indications as to which way it's going and what's the turnout like? Hi, ji -yoon. The election day has finally arrived in South Korea and voting stations opened at 6 a.m. local time. That's about three hours ago. And according to figures posted by the National Election Commission, the voter turnout was at 2.8 percent as of 7 a.m. this morning. I'll have to bring you the latest uh, figures in the next uh, live cross with you guys. But what I have right now is the latest from the 7 a.m. Uh, from 7 a.m. at 2.8 uh, percent. Uh, we're off to a good start because that figure is actually 0.3 percent higher than the last presidential election. I was at a voting station myself about two hours ago to vote and uh, people continued to flow in. Um, I didn't see a line form but people kept coming in and the line was expected to get longer as time progressed during the day. Um, the voting stations will come to a close at a 6 p.m. local time and vote counting will begin immediately. Uh, the vote counting is expected to come to an end at around 2 a.m. Thursday morning but we may be able to get an idea of who will win close to midnight in South Korea. It's expected to be an extremely close race, ji -yoon, and analysts said there's only one way to find out, to wait. Right, and now how is this election distinctly different from previous presidential elections? Um, in terms of the candidates' policies, um, I, I'd like to uh, bring you up to date to, on the uh, DPRK policy differences of the two uh, candidates, um, Park and Moon. Um, both candidates agree that the DPRK's rocket launch was a provocative activity that violates the UN Security Council resolutions, and they both agree that relations need to be improved. So there are um, agreements in terms of policies between the two candidates there. Um, but where they differ is in their methodologies. Uh, Park says uh, trust building should come first. In, in other words, the DPRK needs to show that they're ready to change. She says she'll be uh, she'll be taking a more flexible.